Uh, hello everyone. I uh, wanted to give the preview for tomorrow's uh, New Zealand Pakistan match. Uh, tomorrow obviously being a Saturday it's a double header very important match New Zealand versus Pakistan first match at Bangalore uh, Chinna Swami Stadium the second match is uh, England and Australia uh, we'll see how England goes but New Zealand Pakistan very important match both uh, trying for the semis uh, New Zealand on 8 and Pakistan on 6 points very important match the head to head match record might be important as the tournament goes forward uh, New Zealand and Pakistan have met nine times in the World Cup and it's quite surprising to uh, uh, for a lot of people, I'm sure. Uh, Pakistan have beaten New Zealand seven times in that nine, ta nine times they have played. New Zealand have only won two times. In 1983, that's when uh, New Zealand and Pakistan played first. Uh, in those times, two matches were played between a t team. New Zealand and Pakistan winning one each. And then in 1992, I mean, that's the... Uh, Tournament that comes to my mind always, uh, Martin Crowe, who was in excellent form, the World Cup that was held in Australia. Uh, two times Pakistan beat uh, New Zealand in that tournament, in the uh, group stage and in the semi-final as well. Because New Zealand didn't lose much matches in the group stage, they were like almost unbeaten and Pakistan, one of the teams that beat them in the group stage. Uh, but Pakistan then kept losing a lot of matches and then had to win all their last matches to the uh, qualify for the semi-finals. In that semi-finals, uh, Inzamam scored a quick fire, 60 runs of just 37 balls at that time. Uh, Inzamam coming onto the scene, that was a big statement from him and uh, Pakistan uh, got into a good position from a not at that good a start. Imran Khan and Jawad Mehandar put on a good partnership in that match, I remember watching and Jawad Mehandar getting a 50 as well. And in reply, uh, Martin Crowe got 91 runs, uh, who was a man in form in the tournament, but still Pakistan uh, won the match, uh, uh, batting second actually. Uh, Pakistan uh, won that match in the semi-finals and that's how they went to the finals. In the first match they played in the group stage, uh, they restricted New Zealand uh, and uh, Wasim Akram got four wickets for I think 32 runs and Ramiz Raja got a hundred a century in that match against New Zealand. So that was the two matches that New Pakistan won against New Zealand in the 1992 uh, World Cup. And then in 1996, uh, Pakistan, Sohail, uh, so, sorry, uh, Amir Sohail and Saeed Anwar both got 50s and uh, Pakistan posted 281 for seven, I think. I mean, that's the highest score Pakistan have uh, uh, posted against New Zealand in a World Cup. Uh, New Zealand's highest score is 302 ever uh, against uh, Pakistan in a World Cup. The lowest totals are 166 and 167 respectively as well. In 96, uh, uh, New Zealand uh, losing to Pakistan as well. And then in 1999, again, uh, Pakistan beating New Zealand two times. Uh, in Zaman Mulha getting runs in one of the matches. And, uh, Pak but Pakistan were in very good form in that World Cup un un until the last uh, final match where they really lost it against Australia because England conditions where the ball used to swing. I mean, Wasim Akram was a, more than a handful. He was excellent in that World Cup and Asar Mahmood was there as well. Shah Bhakta was there. So Pakistan's bowling was really in the fore. And even uh, Saeed Anwar was in good form in that World Cup uh, batting-wise and even in Samam Mulhak. Uh, notably, 2011 is where New Zealand won against uh, Pakistan after that 1983 win, one win. Uh, and that is where they scored their highest score, 302. Uh, Ross Taylor, the New Zealand batsman, scoring 131 runs, I think he scored a big 100. And 302 runs was posted by New Zealand and they went on to win the match. And in 2019, the last World Cup, uh, uh, Pakistan beating New Zealand again. I mean, uh, bat bowling first. Shaheen Afridi got three wickets and restricted uh, Pakistan, uh, Australia, uh, New Zealand, sorry, New Zealand to around 230 or so. And uh, batting second, Barbara Razam scored 100 a century and Pakistan winning comfortably. So that's it. I mean, uh, the World Cup history nine times Pakistan and New Zealand have played and seven times to Pakistan and two to New Zealand. New Zealand winning one in 1983 and one in 2011 which is a notable thing because uh, 2011 World Cup was played in India, so against subcontinent conditions. Anyway, coming back to the preview of the match tomorrow, very important match for both of them. New Zealand, after having such a good start to the World Cup, looking 
looked unbeatable in a way and they lost to India the first match and they suddenly lost uh, three matches in a row now close one to Australia chasing 388 lo- uh, falling short by five runs and that massive loss against South Africa which was unwanted bowling first on a good batting wicket uh, Pakistan I mean uh, started off quite well winning two matches and then they lost their way a bit but they have won a match now and so suddenly they are looking quite reasonably good but they lost a match against South Africa that they feel they should have won. I mean, South Africa winning by one wicket against uh, Pakistan. So Pakistan would have felt that they lost two points there. But Pakistan looking decent. Abdullah Shafiq, I've said, impressed me so much after that 100 against Sri Lanka. Compact player, good technique, good shots, ground shots, good timing. He's a rare talent for South uh, Pakistan, sorry. And he has been scoring runs in almost all the matches, so that will be important. Uh, surprisingly, Fakhar Zaman was selected again instead of Imam Mulak and he got 81 runs. So probably they might still open the batting. I mean, New Zealand, I mean, trend, a clever bowler like Trent Bold, I expect him to get Fakhar Zaman out because they would know that he's a very leg side oriented player. I mean, if uh, Trent Bold can bowl outside the off stem and get him nicking to the slips, I mean, or if it swings, uh, maybe an LBW or bold possible. But Fakhar Zaman plays a lot of the leg side. Uh, swing so sometimes he can get shots going on the left side as well but even a quick bouncer to Fakhar Zaman is a good ploy because a lot of Pakistani batsmen are like compulsive hookers of the ball if you bowl short balls at them they always go for the pull shot and there is there's always a chance of a top edge that can go to fine leg or deep and we get uh, Abdullah, Abdullah Shafiq as well should be careful with his pull shots because uh, Trent Bowl can test him with the uh, uh, bouncers Tomorrow, the match is played at Chinnaswamy, Bangalore, where the grounds are not that big and a lot of high-scoring matches have happened, short grounds, so probably a lot of sixes expected. The pitch, we still don't know how it plays. It always plays different different matches. I mean, New Zealand will be banging on Conway to come back to form. He hasn't been getting runs in the last two matches after a good start to the World Cup. Rachin Ravindra has been looking good. Uh, they will still count on him as well. Daryl Mitchell is good, looking good in this tournament. And uh, they would probably love uh, contributions from Jimmy Neesham and Glenn Phillips as well. Tom Latham has been a bit disappointing. The captain in this World Cup hasn't got a lot of runs. So he is one player that should uh, look to get some runs. And Will Young, opener also hasn't got a lot of runs. So the batsmen who has been in form are Conway, Daryl Mitchell and Richard Ravindra. Not sure if Williamson will play, but they said sometimes in November he might play. So I'm not sure if Kane Williamson will play tomorrow. Uh, Mitch Sandner has been bowling well, but uh, Jimmy Nisham bowling has been terrible. He's a part of medium pace and he's been going for a lot of runs. So the New Zealand bowling has been a worry and their fielding hasn't been up to the mark in the last two matches. Uh, Pakistan's bowling really good. Shaheen Afridi, one of the top five wicket takers in this World Cup, looking good now. Uh, Harris Rauf is there, I mean, slowly good, getting back into confidence. Shadab Khan might not play tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how the team combination will be, but Pakistan looking good. I'm not making an outright prediction, but the head-to-head record has all said Pakistan and something tells me that maybe Pakistan will come on top tomorrow because New Zealand's confidence will be very low after the three losses. And Pakistan are normally dangerous when it comes to situations where they are like cornered, where they don't have a choice. They have to win to qualify. Pakistan sometimes produces their best cricket in such situations. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Very good contest on the cards, uh, Pakistan, New Zealand at Chinnaswamy, Bangalore. Please enjoy the match and thank you for watching my video. Take care and God bless you.